let's take a look at running Evil Portal through AWOC Dynamics Dual ESP32. This is the touchscreen version. And the reason we'll use this is so that we can run two at the same time. And I'll kind of go over that. And it gives us a good overview of how to use Evil Portal through the flipper and through an external chip. All right, so let's take a look here. The first thing we want to do is take a look at the SD cards and how those are set up. So what I'll do is I'll power my flipper down. And let's take this off here. I want to get the SD card out of here. So I'll take this antenna off and the SD card's right in there. Sometimes my nail's just long enough. I can get it in there and get the SD card out. There we go. SD card's out. Let's put it in the adapter here and then I'll show you guys so this is the SD card that was in the AWOC Dynamics board. All right, so let me just start up File Explorer here so I can show you all what I am talking about. So this is the root of my SD card. And you don't really need to worry about the scripts folder. But you can see here that I've got all this HTML. So all that lives right on the root. These are logs, previous logs from running Evil Portal. And I have this app.config.txt file here. And the reason you want to have that is you'll see when I double click it here and I bring it over that all that file has is what the name of my SSID is going to be. So in this case, we're going to call it Google Slow. All right. So we've got the app.config.txt, all of my HTML. We don't need to worry about these, this scripts folder. All on the root. All right. So that's the SD card for the board. All right. So that card was in here. Let's stick that back in there now. Let me eject it properly. There we go. Now I'll stick it right back in here, just so we don't lose it. And man, do you want to be careful putting this thing in. It's real easy to like put it kind of in between and then it falls inside and you have to unscrew this whole thing and get it out. It's uh, quite a thing. So don't do that. Put this back in. Now let's take the SD card out of the flipper. And this is a little bit different. You don't put it right on the root. But I'll kind of show you where you need to stick these files. Now keep in mind on my flipper, I'm running the latest firmware from Momentum. And so I'm going to show you where all your evil portal files need to sit when you're running from Momentum. All right. So let me just get to the right area here. All right. Great. So here is my SD card for my flipper. What I'll do here is, because I'm running the latest version of Momentum, we'll go to Apps Data. Then within Apps Data, we'll go to Marauder. You'll see there's, oh, it's not here anymore. Anyway, so you'll go to Marauder. And then in there, you have HTML. You don't need to worry about the app.config.txt file uh, here, but HTML. So HTML is where all of the HTML files want to go. You want to put those all there. So that's apps data, Marauder, 
HTML. It all goes in there. So that's kind of how Evil Portal should be set up for you, for your SD cards. Now let me just pop that out of the computer. And very good. It's going to go back in my flipper now. Just like this. Back in the flipper. And we can stick this on top again. There we go. And let's turn it on. Let's run some evil portal. And so I'll show you how to do this from the screen here. So this would work the same even on the mini and through the flipper screen itself. So first let's go to the flipper. So I'm gonna to go to Marauder, Wi-Fi Marauder. And if you're running Momentum, you could go to Apps. I think it's under Wi-Fi, maybe GPIO, ESP, here it is. And then Wi-Fi Marauder. All right, the first thing I wanna do, so when I'm running it from the flipper, the first thing I have to do is give it an SSID. So I'm gonna add a name here. Let's call it free. F-R-E-E -E underscore fast. People like that word, fast, right? So I've named it free underscore fast. I'll go over to save, and I've saved that name, so I'm good. I go back, back. Now I'm going to select the HTML that I want to use for the splash page. In this case, let's use Cox, Cox Wi-Fi. So the HTML is set for the splash page. Very good. Now. I should be able to run Evil Portal. Let's start it. Make sure we get no error messages. There we go. That means we're running it. Now, all right, we're running Evil Portal. Very cool. Let's run it from here too. So if I'm gonna do that on this touchscreen device right here, first thing I'll do is go to Wi-Fi. So this is the AWOC Dynamics, Marauder, ESP32. Now I'm going to go into general. Here's where I'm going to select my HTML file. Uh, let's do American Airlines. Make it simple. Go back. Go back. Now on that app, .config.txt file that's in this SD card, that has the Wi-Fi name we're going to use. So now that I've set my uh, settings here, so I've set the HTML that I'm going to use. I know my Wi-Fi is set on the app.config.txt. Now we'll launch Evil Portal. And we can see here it's saying Evil Portal ready. So now I should see two different Wi-Fi networks named what I named them. So free fast. And I think this one was, well, we'll see. Let's see what it was. So I'm going to start up my computer here. And what I'm going to show you guys is how the data flows and you see it on the screen here and on the screen here. It's also captured on the SD card, but you'll be able to see it happening live on the screen. So let's see, I named one of them. Here, let me redo my Wi-Fi here. Other networks. Here we go. So one is called Google Slow. So let's try that one. 
and see what happens. When I connect to it, I called it Google Slow. Oh, I, I, I'll show you. So right here, the splash page came up for American Airlines, right? So when that splash page comes up, now I'm gonna put some information in there like I would. I'm just gonna put some random stuff in there and a random password. And when I hit sign in on the splash page, you can see what I typed in right there. As soon as I hit sign in, now it's saved on the SD card, but I, sit, I see it right here. So presumably that's my American Airlines username and password right there. Now let's try it on the other, the other SSID I created and see if we get something on the flipper, right? So let's see here. All right, I think I'm connecting. Let's see what happens. Yep, I connected and you can see now it's the Cox splash page. So that was the other one we did. And now you're gonna see some data flowing right on this flipper as soon as I enter it here. Give me a second here. Just some random stuff, right? Random, random. And now, click next. And look at that data. Came flowing right in. Username, some random thing I typed in. Password, some random thing I typed in. It says I'm connected. So at the same time, I'm running two separate SSIDs and gathering data for do two different types of logins, right? Presumably this was my Cox login and this was my American Airlines login. Oops. <laughs> and that's it. So I can run both Evil Portal on my flipper and from the touch screen, uh, dual, running the AWOC Dynamics Dual ESP32, I can do both flipper and screen at the same time and collect just that much more data.